because the state of um, improved security in the Somalia has resuscitated the country's tourism industry, resulting in citizens returning to their beaches. Now, as the country's stability gradually improved, the tourism sector is now yielding benefit thanks to the arrival of more tourists into the country. Now, Somalia's tourism industry has over the years provided thousands of jobs despite the prevailing challenges in the country. Now, let's have more details of that in this report. As peace and stability gradually return to Somalia, many locals are using their free time to get reacquainted with the rich cultural heritage and beauty of their country. Serene beaches and historical sites that were inaccessible for years are now a major attraction for Somalians eager to learn more about their country. Tour and travel agencies operators say demand is growing. In 2023, we organized more than 20 trips with over 500 tourists. Most of our destinations include Benadir region and other regions across the country. The majority of the local tourists are working class and students who want to take time from their busy schedule and enjoy their free time. More than three decades ago, before civil conflict which devastated Somalia began, this country was one of the favored tourist destinations in the region. Now that normalcy is returning, foreign tourists are also arriving. We also cater for foreign tourists by providing them packages including a full booking system with a hotel, visa process and tour guide. They are interested in historic landmarks like Mogadishu Lighthouse, the scene of Black Hawk Down and other sceneries. With improved security during the past couple of years, Somalia's tourism sector has benefited. Entertainment events such as this one behind me is increasingly becoming common during the camps. I believe all this is made possible by the security improvements in our country. We can travel from Mogadishu to Afgoe, come and enjoy it here at Abai Dahan Beach and many other places without any obstacles. We thank the Almighty and appreciate the efforts by the top leadership like the President, Prime Minister and of course our gallant armed forces. We hope for more progress in the security sector. Somalia's annual tourism report last year indicates that the local hospitality sector has created thousands of jobs despite existing challenges in the country. But experts call for more commitment from the government in terms of producing more professionals with skills and knowledge of the sector. The report actually focused on major areas of the previous before the collapse of the government the national parks, the wildlife, the historical sites, the heritage, and also focus on the current hospitality investment also, which is Somalia has a big number of hotels and also has a restaurant, standard restaurants. That also gives uh, a hope which created a job for more than 35,000 young people, female and male. So when you look at the investment also, where to invest in Somalia in the future also, still there is a, a big gap. And also the government, when you look at the side of the government uh, during the interviews for the report, there is a lack of a national institute to produce a better uh, professional young people. Authorities have already started renovating historical sites and improving other services in what is expected to be a long and difficult process to reclaim Somalia's lost glory through major cultural and tourism-related projects.